Flat Stanley Goes Camping by Jeff Brown. Stanley Lambchop lived with his mother, his father, and his little brother, Arthur. Stanley was four feet tall, about a foot wide, and half an inch thick. He had been flat ever since a bulletin board fell on him. There were lots of good things about being flat. Stanley could put on sunscreen in one swipe. Stanley had the best back float at the pool. Stanley had the loudest belly flop too. But sometimes it was hard being the only flat kid in town. I'm sick of being flat, said Stanley one morning. Flat is lame. Lame, said Mrs. Lambchop. Why some of the best things in the world are flat. Like the newspaper, said Mr. Lambchop. And fried eggs and pancakes and bacon, said Arthur. I guess so, said Stanley. After breakfast, Mr. Lambchop started loading up the car with tents and sleeping bags. What's going on? asked Arthur. We're going camping, said Ms. Lambchop. The family needs some fresh air. All right, yelled Arthur. Stanley barely smiled. After a short drive, the lamb chops arrived at the Roaring River camp. Stanley was helpful as usual. He helped carry firewood. Stanley blocked the wind so his mother could start a fire. But Stanley just wasn't himself. He wouldn't even eat any s'mores. Too flat, he muttered. Why don't you two go exploring, suggested Mr. Lambchop. Good idea, said Ms. Lambchop. Just don't get lost or fall off a cliff or touch any poison ivy. Have fun, dears. Stanley and Arthur set out. Hey, animal tracks, said Arthur. Let's follow them. The boys followed the tracks along the river through some trees and up a steep hill with a cliff on one side. The tracks end here, said Arthur. He peered over the cliff. I wonder what kind of animal made them. Um, Arthur, said Stanley. Arthur turned around. Skunk, he whispered. Let's get out of here. But the boys were trapped. The skunk was on one side and the cliff was on the other. Then the skunk raised its tail. What do we do? Arthur wailed. Mom said not to fall off a cliff, said Stanley. She didn't say not to jump off. Suddenly, Stanley grabbed Arthur by both hands and jumped. Ha! Ah! Arthur screamed. Then Arthur opened his eyes. He wasn't falling. He was sailing. Above him, Stanley's body made a perfect parachute. The boys landed with a gentle plop. That was awesome, said Arthur. Thanks, said Stanley. Now, where are we? Arthur and Stanley looked around. All they saw were trees. We're lost, said Arthur, and it's getting dark. Then Stanley spotted something. There's the river, he said. Our campground is on the river. The boys ran to the water's edge. About a mile downstream were two cozy lamb chops tents. What can we do? It will be dark before we can walk that far, said Arthur. I know, said Stanley. Stanley got a running start and belly flopped into the river. Splash! And he flipped over onto his back. Come on. Woo-hoo, cried Arthur. I always wanted to go rafting. Arthur and Stanley made it back to camp. Drippy, but safe. Let's keep this to ourselves, said Stanley. I can't believe we got lost 
and went off a cliff, Arthur said. At least we didn't touch poison ivy. There you are, said Miss Lambchop, just in time for supper. That night, Arthur whispered to Stanley from his sleeping bag, You know, if you weren't flat, you couldn't have saved us today. Stanley smiled. Maybe being flat isn't so lame, he said. And the next day, Stanley found out another good thing about being flat. He could put on poison ivy cream in one swipe.